Let's move into the New Orleans Bowl. I'm really looking forward to this one. Okay. Really looking forward to this. 8 p.m. Central Time, ESPN, in New Orleans, Saturday, December 15th, Middle Tennessee State, 8-5 and five record, 8-5 uh, and five against the spread, and App State, 10-2, and 7-3-2 and two against the spread. Um, App State, Scott Satterfield, hired at Louisville, he's gone. Don't know that it matters a whole lot. Uh, it's the last game for head coach uh, uh, Rick Standstill and his, his son quarterback, Brent, MTSU four and one against the spread in their last five as an underdog. They are seven point underdogs currently to App State. The line opened at seven and a half. It has dropped. Uh, the total is fifty and a half. Middle Tennessee three and one against the spread their last four. App State one one and two. So, eh, you know MTSU played a tougher strength of schedule. They were number eighty four. Uh, App State played the number one eleven strength of schedule this year. Defensive yards per play, it is not even close. Offensive yards per play, it's not even close. Uh, points per game, defense points per game, everything points App State here. That's right. But without Scott Satterfield, I mean, what do you make of this? I, I'm going to go with MTSU. That's, I, I'm I think, doing the same thing. I think you've got a coach there that's leaving. Um, coaching his son, it's going to be his last game. Like I think, I think it means more to them. I think that actually matters. This game matters to them. I don't know that this game matters to App State at all. I just don't. And then I never like taking a team coming in with an interim coach. You don't know anything about him. I mean, I'm sure they've got talent and they're going to play well. Yeah. I mean, this is it's kind of one of the reasons why I wasn't so excited about the Louisville hiring um, 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 Scott is because. I don't know. I just think a new guy is going to come in. They're going to take that same job, and they're going to do the same thing that the two coaches before him did. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, and then I would go over the fifty and a half. I think they're going to score points. I think it, both so, these teams so are going let, to. Score. Let me tell you what the metrics say. The metrics say App State minus seven point two nine. Okay, so it's right there. And point total forty six. Okay, so the metrics has it going. It has it going like like four points under. Okay. So. I still like you, though. I, I think, like, yes, the defensive coordinator is still there for App State. Yes, like, they uh, they are number four in the country in defensive yards per play. I still think MTSU is going to be able to move the football. I think they're going to score. The New Orleans Bowl always seems to go over. Like, yeah. it's always fun. Yeah. And App State's going to score. I mean, we're, yeah, App State's we're not score. thinking that, that Scott Levin is going to make them just all of a sudden not be able to play. Yeah offensive football but mtsu four and one against the spread last five as an underdog i like that a lot mtsu plus seven um i do think i'm rolling with you on on over 50 and a half yeah and so i mean that's you go over 50 and a half all you got to do is 31 28 i mean it's you're talking very little very little well 31 28 is way over way over way over that's what i mean 28 21 yeah that would do it that'd be 49 what do we need here? Twenty eight, twenty four. Yeah, twenty eight, twenty four. That's fifty two. No math. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We we it's lie. A gambling show. We do a lot of math. That's I know, right? Uh, so we're we're both doing over fifty and a half, and that is going to wrap up December fifteenth as far as the bowl schedule goes.